<laughs> I love just the immediate splat there. It's a water cooler. Take a cup of water. Take a cup of water. Get rid of the water. You pour the water on the ground next to the water cooler. Notice the uh, graphic for the water cooler going down slowly. You'll also see the uh, pool get bigger in a second. Sadistically, you've poured out all the water right in front of Undyad's eyes. Well, what's up? She looks dry. Large puddle for me. Let's see, I think we could still, you know, just, just make sure we don't save. Undyne's home, but she isn't feeling well. I don't think we can hang out. It seems like she caught heat stroke or something. Someone must have brought her back home. Because she can barely move. But she is muttering about destroying you. So that's a good vital sign. In any case, I don't think we can hang out. I'm just waiting here in case she needs me. So, I guess you can run along. Undyne is sick, so she can't play today. Undyne is a fairly common one for people to kill if they're playing completely blind because they can't uh, figure out any other way to get past her. They don't really uh, consider fleeing to be a solution to the fight, so they uh, end up being like, all right, mercy doesn't work, and talking and challenging and stuff doesn't work, so I guess uh, I guess we gotta fight her. Oh, which uh, which we need to do actually, because I've uh, never fully seen what uh, what it's like if you actually kill Undyne, and I know it's kind of horrifying. So let's, uh, let's see how that goes. Huh? where it ends. No. No. I won't die. Elphus, Asgore, Papyrus. Everyone is counting on me to protect them. Yeah. Human. In the name of everybody's hopes and dreams, I will defeat you. Undyne looks determined. So this is, uh, this is also, um, something that has some kind of far-reaching meaning or connotations here. Undyne has determination. And you can see her, uh, feet and, uh, like the bottom of her sprite fading out. And uh, she's made you green at this point. You can no longer flee. Hey there, Zuma. Come on, is that all you've got? Notice her attack. Undyne is smiling as if nothing is wrong. Pathetic. You're going to have to try harder than that. Notice her attacks kind of slowing down a little bit. More of her body's phasing out. Undyne's body is wavering. Even if I'm not attacking. See, see, see how strong we are when we believe in ourselves? Undyne's body is losing its shape. enough yet?
That's the first attack she hit you with as well. what I was afraid of. This is why I never told you. No! No! Not yet! I won't die! I won't die! I won't die! belts. So I'm still not entirely sure um, how to uh, how to think of that, but um, Undyne definitely has determination. We're gonna go ahead and reset there, but for anyone who hasn't seen the uh, Undyne dying a neutral death, it's pretty horrifying. That's, uh, that's, that's what happens. Okay, let's... Uh... We gotta. So this is the this is the price of science and showing stuff off. And then this this call, of course, is is brilliant. It's it works. Ex it's the same call either way, but you be an undying should all hang out. So I just killed her. Like it's like it's, it's horrifying, horrifying. Sans is not here when she's dead. Oh, that's uh, talking about Alphys, yeah. This is also reasonably uncommonly seen text. He hasn't been responding to our letters. Maybe it's because we let Doggo write them all. We're considering paying a visit to the doctor. No, not the vet. Well, maybe she's a little like a vet. Come on, everybody! Let's party! Anyone? That's just the, the same food thing. Okay. Eat during battle? Eat some poker. Something feels really bad. Our lives are going nowhere, aren't they? I think I need another espresso. So I, th I think that text is based on your uh, current level of violence, maybe. So some some amount of killing requires that. I don't think that one's Undyne specific, but I'm not sure. Undyne? Did you come all the way out here? Uh, what's our quickest way to get... Oh yeah, we can just take... Oh, yeah, let me talk to Mike Wazowski, too, while we're here. Yes, okay, that's different. You think Sudoku is just moderately challenging, don't you? <laughs> I've never actually seen him say that, but I saw it in the, uh, the game's files. <laughs> okay, you can talk about Sudoku. I don't... I think that's just, like, a time-based thing. Like, you've cleared Waterfall and come back to chat with him or whatever. Let's see. That's the same text? Oh no, okay. No, that is different. We're ready to hang out with Undyne? Great! Me too! But she's not here. Normally she returns at about this time. She's late though! And she's not answering her phone! How strange! I'll just wait here until she gets home. Poor Papyrus. I'll call you when she gets here, okay? Nope! She isn't here yet! Uh, hmm... I should probably try to make friends with my neighbor. She's kind of scary, but I feel like I'm always too late to make friends. Oh god! <laughs> oh no! I should at least try. Uh, 
feel like I'm always too late to make friends. Okay, I think... Yeah, we do want to empty this out, but... Uh, yeah, well, that's probably just going to do that now. Okay, 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 okay. I was thirsty, so I came over from Waterfall to get a drink. Okay, 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 okay. Are you just carrying that around to look sophisticated? Because it's not working. Dump the, uh, the water in the ground. After giving Undyne some this time. So it's, it's not completely sadistic. It's just, you know, very rude. The text for the the, the puddle uh, says like small pool forming, medium pool forming, large pool forming, or something like that. There's no more water left in the pool. Okay, 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 okay. So now we have a private pool. Worse things have happened. Large puddle forming. Okay, cool. So let's uh, head over here. Let's talk to uh, the clam girl here. He's. Uh, important in a weird way that's like definitely very vague and uh like i i specifically wonder if uh we'll we'll know more about clam girl and or susie if uh the game ever gets uh patched again but uh that that remains to be seen so some of her dialogue here uh changed um during the uh the or from the uh the patch as well I'm visiting Waterfall from the city. Synchronicity? My neighbor's daughter looks about your age. Her name is Susie. I feel like you two should be friends. You have a neighbor's blessing. Not knowing where I live is no issue. Fate finds a way. In life's grand scheme, she might be why you came here in the first place. Like this, this line right here. What the hell? What the hell, this line? With Clam Girl there, uh, her dialogue changes a little bit, and triggering Clam Girl also triggers something else in the game that's that's special and Sans related that was changed in the patch. So that kind of links them in an odd uh, so, like it, they're not directly linked in game, but they're linked through the mechanics of how you trigger things. So it's it's kind of curious um, how uh, how all that uh, fits together there. But uh, another thing that changed along those lines is if you're on a genocide route, uh, this is this is one of the things that I mentioned that is that I'd like to show off, but I can't in this run. If you're on a genocide route, but then you spare Papyrus and then uh, hang out with him a little bit, uh, like in his room, uh, you can look at his uh, box full of bones. Where you, uh, um, I can probably find the uh, dialogue, I guess, to actually. Uh, Hey! Those are all the attacks I didn't use! How lucky of you! I had only you er, let's see. Had I only used my special attack, you surely would have been blasted to! Wh hey! Wait! Where's my special attack? No! I've been dog burgled by that pernocious pup! That loathsome scoundrel loves to sneak into my room. Sometimes it even crawls into my bed while I'm resting. If that wasn't bad enough, it has very cold feet. So that's a uh, that's rare um, abandoned genocide uh, route dialogue there. Uh, but it's it's the, the the text of that was specifically changed to say blasted in the patch. Um, so the only like reason that makes sense would be to say that his special attack is like the gaster blasters that Sans uses, you know? So it's, uh... There's, there's some, some interesting uh, stuff, stuff there. So we're walking back all the way back here. This is just, uh, just a dead end. Most of the time. Most of the time. There's a, there's a little friend over here. <clears throat> hey, 
Have you ever thought about a world where everything is exactly the same? Except you don't exist? Everything functions perfectly without you. Ha! Ha! The thought terrifies me. So that, I mean, that uh, comes from something that basically doesn't exist. Uh, I believe this is a 5% chance for this thing to be here. It's either 5 or 10% chance for this thing to be here. And, um, you have to actually walk back to this place nobody ever walks back to. Um, let's see. Okay, to make this easier, uh, like, it actually has sip like, okay, so this is, this is the game we're playing here. We've got this thing that has, like, a 10% chance of appearing, let's say on a weird place that you walk crazily back to, and most people won't do that regardless, and uh, usually if they do check, there'll be nothing there. But if you have an umbrella, then it says different things. Um, I think I'm not going to care about walking back to get the umbrella, because I um, uh, have the dialogue handy, so I will just uh, tell you what he says. Uh, but, um, an umbrella, but it's not raining, <laughs> you know, that does make me feel a little better about this, thank you, please forget about me, please don't think about this anymore, so, it makes them feel a little better about this, like they're, own non-existence, basically. You, you're, like, comically have an umbrella that you bring to them, so that helps them feel a little better about their own, uh, non-existence. Wow! You're so eager to hang out! You're trying to go into my house without me! That's really weird! Oh, we got a sound effect from that. I don't think we've made it to that sound effect before. I assume that didn't, like, magically open that or anything. I've just been informed that my papyrus voice is uh, too loud and disturbing other people. So, I, I can't uh, voice papyrus properly anymore. <laughs> I can't feel my legs. That must mean I'm being a great host. So if you tire him out a little bit, he says like it's exhausting, but if you tire him out a lot, he says he can't feel his legs. Nice. If you've finished looking around, we could go in and hang out like a pair of very cool friends. So I specifically wanted to see if he commented differently about this bone pile when it's actually a long time since we've uh, fought instead of just a few minutes ago. Uh, he doesn't change... I was really hoping he would change that text. That's my bed! If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway. Wind in my hair, sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead I cruise while I snooze. Why are you so interested in my bed? Are you tired? What if I just, like, spin him around a few times? Does that do anything? Probably not. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start hanging out? Okay, let's hang tin. There you go, it's sultry flirtatious papyrus now. Here we are, hanging out. I snagged an official handbook, guidebook, 
Hangout Guidebook from the library. That's what I meant to say. Boom. You can, uh, you can bring up the uh, UI before he says to. Let's see. Step one. Press the C key on your keyboard for dating HUD. I think you already did that. Step one. Press the C key on your keyboard for friendship HUD. Oh, that's right. You can just hit Z to uh, skip past it instead of hitting C. And then he, uh, then he'll say something eventually. Okay, forget it. I think we're ready for step two. Step two. Ask them to hang out. Ahem. Human. I, the Great Papyrus, will hang out with you. Fortunately, it only says to ask. Wait a second. Wear clothing. Those glasses on your face. That cowboy hat on your head. You're wearing clothing right now! No! Could it be? You've wanted to hang out with me from the very beginning? Despite that, you chose to wear clothing today, of all days! Was your friendship predestined? No! Your friendship power! Don't think you've bested me yet. I, the Great Papyrus, have never been beaten at hanging out, and I never will. I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes, just in case someone wants to hang out. I don't think I've ever actually seen anyone pick I hate it here, because people are not willing to lie that savagely. Everyone just always says I love it, because, I mean, you can't not, right? You can't not love that outfit, it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll tell him though. No! Your honesty! It shows how much you really care! This hangout won't escalate any further, unless you find my secret. You can't even bring yourself to harm my delicate rapping! No! That technique! It's too strong! Counterattack! I'll open the present myself! Do you know what this is? Yeah! That's right! You have no idea! Though this appears to be spaghetti... This ain't any plain old pasta! This is an artisan's work! Silken spaghetti! Finally aged in an oaken cask! Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. I, I, I love that line too. Silk and spaghetti, finely aged in an oaken cast. There's no way this can go any further. You mean, you're letting me have it instead? Because you know how much I love pasta. Impossible! Taking my present and turning it around on me. Human, it's clear now. You're completely obsessed with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time I told you. I... Papyrus. Hmm. Well, I'm flattered you care so much. But maybe cool it a little bit. You're a very nice person. I'm glad we're friends. But I think you could reach your max potential, comma, 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 if you live more for your own sake rather than just for mine. Hmm. Hey. I know the solution! You should hang out with my boss, Undyne! I think if you spread your friend energy out more, 
you'll have a more healthy lifestyle. Yeah, let's be friends with Undyne. Yeah. I mean, you indirectly fail the date Dylan Smith if you say, like, you don't love his style, because then you're just savagely lying both to Papyrus and to yourself. So, you you fail in spirit. Nothing else too special there. The the, uh, the main, like, super unusual thing we uh, showed there was just that we activated the HUD before it was asked. It's not a particularly great piece of dialogue, but it's different, okay? It's different, and you probably haven't seen it before. And uh, this call is uh, is is interesting. I don't. I think this one's always been like this, but it's possible this was updated in the patch. I don't remember for sure on this one. Hmm. hmm. A mysterious science house. <laughs> the sign outside says lab. <laughs> lab. <laughs> like <laughs> laboratory. Labrador! E. Does that mean there are dogs inside? <laughs> I mean... I wouldn't rule it out. I don't think the follow-up is terribly new, though. Let's see. <gasps> Strange dog's house! But, uh, yeah, that, so there's a, um... More, more than just a, like... Like, it, it, it's fairly blatant that Sans and uh, Alphys uh, know each other. Sans has uh, seen, uh, seen the crew lab. 